Hi and welcome to this demo of the new color range to mask adjustment node. Um, the color range to mask node is similar to Photoshop's select color range and it will allow you to isolate colors and um, turn them into an easy mask. So I'm just going to create the node and by default it's under um, adjustments custom color range to mask and not much will happen by default. So I'm just going to scroll down and uh, pick my first color. And now we're getting something. And you can see I've got a preview of my selected colors. And on the other side, everything is unchanged. And that is being controlled by the color picking section of the node. So the first checkbox is show background. And that will just... Uh, reveal the background as you would expect so anything up to that adjustment layer is visible and the second box is stencil and stencil will just take the black colors of your mask and make it transparent so this should be helpful to see a lot easier what you have selected and uh, then there's a wipe which will control the split between the background and the color range to mask node and that split is based on percentage of your paint buffer so um, if you move the buffer around you can see the split is changing as well so it's always based on position of your paint buffer and uh, a 0.5 wipe simply means a split at 50% of your paint buffer and you know reverse wipe will just invert that wipe so in total I've got a I've got four colors for the additive selection and another four colors for the subtractive selection. However, by default only color A of the additive selection is active, and that is being controlled by uh the additive slots up in the globals. So if you want to add more colors, you know you set the additive slots higher and uh just pick away. By the way, if you're working in a linear color space, it's important that uh, you change the drop-down under canvas to pick raw pixels. Otherwise, you're sampling colors that have gone through a, a lookup table, uh, like sRGB, for example. So, you can add as many colors here. And each color has a separate slider for uh, expansion and that will just expand the range of the color. So for example if you want to subtract something I just turn on subtractive slots up in the globals and pick another color maybe another and change the fuzziness a little bit There's also a uh, plus minus bias control up in the globals and what that will do is uh, favor either additive or subtractive color selection in the calculation to create your mask. So uh, negative values will favor added colors and um, positive values will favor or bias towards the subtracted colors. Then there's a gain command, which will you know just gain your mask values up and down, and a simple invert. And last but not least, a enhanced selection group. I'm just going to show that one on a different input image. Just reset everything to default. I'm just going to sample the sky color. So this is without enhanced selection turned on and this is with it turned on. So basically what it's doing it is evaluating all your colors um, both from the input image as well as any selected colors along a saturation curve. 
and the clip, val clip values of this curve are set by these uh, min and max sliders. And it can help a lot in some cases to get more solid selections, get rid of gaps in the selection. And let me just add another color. And you can see I'm getting a pretty clean selection. So just the dark blue and the light color, but none of this turquoise color up there in the corner. Well, without the enhance, I would get a lot more blown out selections. It just separates the colors internally into better color ranges so the result can be a lot more precise. So once you're done, um, just make sure to turn off the show background just to get the fully masked result back. And then you can, you know, just flatten this entire thing into a mask. Uh, but what I find really useful here is to use a script of ideas scale which is called um, Merge Duplicate Layers. And you can just download it under the Python scripts and dump it into your script folder. And basically how it works is that you will select all layers you want to merge. And right click all the way at the bottom, Merge Duplicate. And it now made me a new combined layer of my selection. And I can just, you know, get rid of my adjustment node. And I've got a paintable layer that I can use, you know, for like for example in a mask stack or move around anywhere. And yeah, I mean that's pretty much it for this note. Uh, the note is available at uh, DSCL now. And yeah, just thanks for listening.